The administrative penalty system is really all about customer service and because we're a government that means it's about public service, that's really our goal. What it does is it simplifies the process of disputing, uh, at, at this point in time, uh, a parking ticket, although it's something that we could expand to other sorts of, uh, of charges. In the past, when someone had a parking ticket that they wanted to dispute, they would actually have to ask for a trial and wait for a trial and then they would have to go to the court and wait their turn. Now it's much simpler. People can request an in-person meeting. However, the in-person meeting is scheduled and it takes much less of their time. The best thing is people can do this online. So it can take 20 minutes of their time at home whenever it's convenient for them. It's a project that, uh, first of all, required legislative authority. So we're talking about innovation. The creative thinking actually started quite some time ago, a decade or more ago, when, when uh, municipalities didn't have the authority to implement this sort of system. Municipalities, including the City of Toronto, started to lobby to have legislative change that would allow them to implement an administrative penalty system to streamline some of the ways that we deal with various types of offences. By removing parking matters from the provincial court system, we created more time for more complex matters. By using uh, IT systems and modernizing our system, we increased accessibility for the public. Every other jurisdiction replicated the court system in an administrative penalty system, and we said, this is our chance to utilize technology. As I like to say, people are running businesses off their cell phone, so people aren't expecting us to have to use paper and pencils and pens to deal with things this day. So we decided to take a look at the system, look what we absolutely had to do to create a fair system, and use technology to modernize it. 